The search continues for a Mangosutu University of Technology lecturer who was abducted last Sunday. Sean Duarica was kidnapped at Seacow Lake in Durban while inspecting maintenance at a property he owns. CCTV footage shows the 61-year-old lecturer being dragged into his vehicle by three unknown men. News of Africa's Nobleton Mudise reports. Sean Duarica is seen standing outside his rented property when he's approached by three unknown men. They seem to have a conversation with him before forcefully dragging him back into his vehicle across the road. There are witnesses, one on the other side of the gate and another is walking up the road. The Duarica family says the 61-year-old university lecturer is loved by everyone, adding that nothing sinister happened prior to his abduction. It is mind-boggling, um, especially because we know our dad. Um, so it's mind-boggling to even be in this situation. Um, no ransom has come through, um, um, none, none whatsoever. We only know what we've seen on the CCTV, but my dad uh, is a person who, who will need to fill us in on what really transpired. The family says a witness has come forward and is helping police with investigations. We are very grateful for the information that has come through. Um, without that vital information, we wouldn't know what really happened to my dad. So we as a family, we are extremely proud and we are grateful to the, to the family that has provided us with this information. But we are letting the police handle that. His family has made a desperate plea to his abductors to release him unharmed. My dad is a very kind-hearted person. He's a fun-loving fun husband. He's a dedicated husband. He is um, he's our dad. He is a kind-hearted person. He's got three grandchildren. Um, he's, who is, is the life of any situation with them. He's a respectable person in the community as well. Um, even when it comes to religious work and things like that, he is a very ardent, devoted person, especially with the Brahma Kumaris, the Divine Life Society. So that's where his, most of his time goes. And as far as the university is concerned, um, yes, he's been with the uni university for 26 years. And if you ask the students, if you ask his uh, co-workers, he's a very kind-hearted person. So we cannot fathom or understand why this has happened. Colleagues and students at Mangosut University of Technology say he served the institution diligently for 26 years. His, his absence definitely will leave a, a huge vacuum to the department as well as the, as the faculty. But um, knowing who uh, Mr. Drarika was, he's always um, taking his work very diligently. He does everything to, to meet up with the deadlines and then the required um, uh, processes to follow in terms of uh, the teaching and learning aspects of the university. The Mr. Dorica has served here at this institution for 26 years, for over 26 years. And, and he was a very kind person, a very dedicated person. Um, students looked up to him so much. He was there um, in terms of support emotionally and academically. So to us as student leaders, it is a shock to hear of such incident that has happened and to, student, and to students. Everyone is so shocked. We are so perplexed. The devastated Dwarika family is also asking for anyone with information to come forward. To whoever has my dad, we plead to the public to please give us any information that they may have, anything to come forward, because this is breaking our family apart and we just want him back alive and safe back to us at home. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nobuhle Mudise in Durban.